Well, that's enough interpretive signs. Let's take a look at snakes. Taipan is the longest venomous snake and also one of the world's most deadly snakes. It can strike 10 or 12 times in about 5 seconds, extremely rapidly. It has an extremely large reservoir of very dangerous venom. Some people don't like snakes, so let's move on to birds in the monsoon forest. A few of the many interpretive signs They've got a gigantic bird cage that takes maybe uh, 10 minutes to get through. If you're keen, you could try to find the birds that are described in the pictures. I think I found this one, the Imperial Pigeon. No idea as to this. Don't know the name of this, but wow, what an impressive bird. Reminds me of John Howard. Lots of these around my house, the kookaburra, they wake me up in the morning with their laughing jackass call. They do like mice or any other form of meat. A beautiful looking bird. Fruit bats, very common in the tropical north. You run into them quite frequently. Monsoon rainforest. I think the tropical heat is getting to me. It's about 40 degrees today. Not really, maybe 32, but very humid. They've got some very large aquariums. Now we'll explore the Billabong. They're famous for freshwater crocodiles, not to mention pelicans. Well, enough of pelicans. Let's start looking for freshwater crocodiles. The long, narrow snout identifies the species. Crocodile is hatching from legs. Very few live to be adults.
for memory, maybe a golden weave or something like that, spider. Feral pigs are common in the tropics. They can be quite dangerous. And feral dingoes are not at all friendly. They've even been noted to eat babies. There's a purge on for wild buffalo. They've been shot off in hundreds of thousands. A broga, I think. Oh, let's finish off. There's lots of kangaroos. I'm not quite sure what a woolly butt is, but maybe it's the larger one. Certainly wallabies are the smaller. There's lots of them. <laughs> 